Well, away from that, the international community led by United States has begun talks between the Sudan Armed Forces, SAF, and the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, in Geneva, Swaziland, with the aim of agreeing on a ceasefire on the ongoing conflict in Sudan. This push for dialogue has been driven by growing alarm at us that the conflict is sending the country deeper into a famine that experts warn could become the world's worst in decades. However, the Sudanese Youth Network in Kenya has also called for ending the war and establishing a democratic civil transformation. Our very own Dolly Mrigimbovi has more details. After 16 months of war, the Sudanese people have suffered immense loss. <laughs> Lives, property, dignity have been ripped from them due to the ongoing conflict. Over 10 million people are displaced. Over 2 million refugees, tens of thousands are dead. Over 2.5 million people are at risk of death due to the mass hunger and farming in the parts of the country. With the deepening famine menace, the United States has initiated peace talks aimed at stopping Sudan's 16-month war in Geneva. The negotiations are taking place amidst the backdrop of increasing concern regarding the humanitarian crisis faced by the Sudanese people. The situation has escalated due to the intense and violent confrontations between two major factions, the Army and the Rapid Support Forces, RSF. But Sudan's military has said it will not attend the negotiations, killing hopes of a quick ceasefire. Our ending the war and establishing democratic civil transformations is youth lead initiative that began in 2023, organized by young women and men who wanted to create a platform where youth could organize themselves to contribute to effort and to end the war in Sudan. That there is no unity in the war and demanding a ceasefire in Sudan now. It is about saving opportunity for us as a Sudanese people to come together and to the people of Sudan we want one of peace and justice and equality. We see the upcoming Geneva. However, the Sudanese network youth in Kenya has seen the Geneva peace talks as an opportunity to stop the war and relieve the immense suffering of the Sudanese people. The U.S. envoy to Sudan, Tom Perioli, had earlier said that the peace talks would go on as planned, saying that his goal is to broker a ceasefire and to strike a deal for full humanitarian access across Sudan. However, the Sudan community is now calling on all anti-war actors to join the campaign to ceasefire and make it known to warring parties and to the world that the Sudanese people need peace. We uh, the suffering of the Sudanese people by the murder. Uh, the partners of the rare cases of the fire. We can uh, bring all the people together and even how we can uh, push those uh, both sides of fighting to go to sit in Geneva because it, really we need uh, to stop this uh, fighting. The UN Migration Agency has issued a warning regarding the situation in Sudan, indicating that the country is approaching a breaking point with the threat of tens of thousands of preventable deaths that could arise within the region. Dolly Marikimbovi for Hope TV, Nairobi.